In this session, we are going to look at the discovery process specifically for SNMP devices. We will look at how to add credentials for both SNMP v2 and v3. And we will then go through a new discovery scan to discover devices that have SNMP v2 and v3 credentials associated with them. We will then look at the devices in the discovered network and then add them into the monitor network. We will first look at configuring SNMP credentials from within WhatsApp Gold. Navigate to Settings, Libraries, and Credentials. From here, we can add new SNMP v1, v2, and v3 credentials. When adding a new SNMP v2 credential, we must give the credential a name, a read community string, and also a write community string. It's worth noting that this is not a required field. When adding a new SNMP v3 credential, give it a name, a username, select an authentication protocol, enter an authentication protocol password, select an encryption protocol, and enter an encryption protocol password. Now that we have added our credentials to our library, we are ready to begin a new discovery scan. As a side note, we could have ran a discovery against the devices first and then added credentials later on. We will look at this process in another video. To start a new discovery, select Discover and then select New Scan. First, we can uncheck Gateway IP and Local Subnet as these options do not apply to our scan. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will discover two IP addresses in the same scan, but we could run two separate scans if we wanted. Click Next. Under Expand, we will uncheck the Virtual, Wireless and Storage options, as these are not applicable for this demonstration. We will not select any options under Limit. Under the Credentials options, we are going to use only the SNMP v2 and v3 credentials previously set up. We will not make any changes under the options, nor will we enable a schedule. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will give our scan a name, but this is not a required option. We can then save and run the scan. Here we can see the scan running, and depending on the amount of devices, this may take a few minutes to go through the various scan processes. Once the discovery is complete, we will see the scan devices show in the discovered network. We can see the black diamond symbol beside the devices, which indicates that they are not monitored. By selecting the first device in the list, i.e. the Loadmaster device, we can see that the SNMP v3 credentials succeeded and the SNMP v2 credentials failed. And we can see additional information about the device underneath. If we select the Cisco switch device, we can see that the SNMP v2 credentials were successful. We can then select both devices together or separately and add them into the monitor network. We will then see the black diamond symbol turn to a green circle to indicate that the device is now monitored. Now that the device has been added to the monitor network, we can select the device and view some additional information on the device card. We can see the overview of five performance monitors, CPU, disk, memory, interface, and ping. And we can see the assigned credentials. If we click into device properties, we can see additional information about the device across the top, such as OS, brand, role, etc. We can see that there are eight monitors assigned out of the box, three active monitors and five performance monitors. To see what additional information has been picked up from the device, we can look at the various reports in the inventory tab. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this training.